Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Storm and this video is about how to create your teacher website. Now if you have not gone through the other video about how to set up Google Classroom, you need to go do that video first. If you don't have any classroom set up, you need to do that first. Um, and then once you're done with that, come back to this video and we'll set up your website. Okay, first step, as in the last video, is you want to make sure that you are on your utahmilitaryacademy.org email. You're logged into Google using UMA um, because you will not have access to Classroom or to, uh, well, you can build a website with a regular email, but it won't be tied to the UMA domain, which is what we want. So make sure you're signed into UMA. Then we want to get to Google Sites by typing in sites.google.com. All right, now I see I have a bunch of stuff on here. Um, these are websites that I have either built for examples or um, my Mr. Storm site is my website from last year. This is my website for this year. I've got Lieutenant Curtis shared his with me so I could take a look at it. This is my template. Um, <clears throat> I want to create a new one though. You may see websites, if you've already built one, you may see your websites here, or you'll see a graphic, if you've never built anything, if you haven't built your website yet, you'll see a graphic here basically taking up some content on the page. We want to click Create, <clears throat> and it's going to take a second. All right. Now, when we're on this page, there are two things that we want to do. First, we want to click Browse the Gallery for More and we want to select the UMA teachers page template. Okay? If you're not seeing that, then you're probably logged in under the wrong email address. So if that's not popping up, I would go back and make sure you're under your UMA email address. We're going to select that and then click select and it'll pop up here highlighted in red, indicating that we've selected. Now we want to name our site. You want to name your site first name space last name. Uh, if you want to use your rank, if you're military, you can do that too. So, um, you know, uh, senior master sergeant and then last name. If you want to just do Mr. and then last name, that's fine too. Or Mrs. I don't want to be uh, gender specific here. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to name mine because I've already used first and last. I'm going to make mine Kanye West. Kanye West. So, this is Kanye West's website. So we've got Kanye West. And it's going to automatically create a URL for me. And then once I've named it and I've chosen the teacher's page template, then I'm good. I can click Create. And it takes uh, about a minute to create the website. Um, so we will watch the spinning wheel of death together as it does its thing. Now, no matter how long we have to wait for this, I guarantee you it's a lot shorter than having to completely build a web page from scratch. And before I even got done with that sentence, it loaded. So here we go. This is Kanye West's website for Utah Military Academy. That's his picture and the biography. Now this is what you're going to see when you open it up. When you first load the template, it's going to look like this. I built a basic bare bones template for us to manipulate. This is your home page. Then you have individual class pages um, here at the top. Um, so uh, another thing, I built these buttons down here as well for us to get to popular websites. So the UMA website is there. Aspire is here as well. And then Google Classroom, which I'm going to open. I'm going to keep that open because I'm going to need it. So here in the bio, we want to change this because we don't want this picture. We don't want this biography. So if we go up here to the side or to the top, it'll say edit page, this little pen icon. We're going to click that. And first we want to get rid of this picture. So I'm going to click the picture. And in this menu down here, we're going to click X to remove. And then I'm going to put my cursor right next to this B in biography because wherever my cursor is, is where they're going to insert the picture. So I'm going to click there, go to insert and click image. Now I can choose an image from online, but I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be using your own uploaded images from your own computer. So we're going to go to upload images and I'm going to scroll through and find the picture I want. And there's a good Kanye West photo. We'll select that one. 
and it's uploading my picture taking some time again spinning wheel of death what you you were just loaded all the way come on now this is a great video awesome video see if I was better at this I would just pause the video here cut this section out and then bring it back at the end or bring it back when this is done but uh, I'm too lazy to do that so we'll just wait together while this takes a ridiculously long time alright now it's there I've got a thumbnail of what my picture is gonna look like and I can click OK now it's gonna put this super big picture of Kanye West in there we do not want Kanye West to be that big um, there's never a inst an instance where Kanye West's picture needs to be that big ever so we're gonna go up to this menu again and we're gonna click small or medium uh, so either one whatever looks best for you I'm gonna click medium uh, even large isn't too bad I can do 100% or original I'm gonna click large large isn't too bad now notice that Kanye West because he's egotistical he pushed all the other stuff down here out of the way we don't want that either we want it to wrap so if we go to wrap off wrap on Kanye West is a rapper so we're gonna turn wrap on and it's gonna put all this stuff up next to it okay alrighty now I can go in here and change the biography so I can talk about Kanye West and all of the good things that he's done and blah 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 um, you're gonna want to do that for sure specifically for you though not for Kanye West obviously um, but once I'm done there I've got my bio I've got my picture I'm gonna click Save and now that's my new home page that's all you really have to do on your home page just make sure your biography is there make sure your picture is uploaded and you're good to go now let's talk about the individual classes let's say you're only teaching seven periods and you want to get rid of this eighth period this was a point of contention in class and uh, I wanted to show you guys how to actually delete classes um, the right way so I don't want this eighth period so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is go to eighth period go up here and click delete page so delete so it gets rid of the page completely now notice that the tab doesn't go away and when I go there it just says the page has been deleted here's the problem we need to get rid of this tab and the way you do that is you go up to the more actions you go to edit site layout now if you hover over the horizontal navigation bar and click you'll notice that there is no eighth period anymore because we got rid of that class okay so that should be pretty solid that's all we need click OK it's saving and it took away my eighth period tab so that's how you get rid of classes that you no longer want okay we're gonna close that so now that tab is gone I don't have an eighth period so it's gone now no more tab so that's something that we didn't really cover in class but you may need to know that alright so that's getting rid of classes what about adding a class let's say we got rid of a class we didn't want and we found out later that we did want it so let's create a page go to create name my page um, 11th period period okay it's going to change my blah 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 right there uh, I'm gonna use the same template as my web page blue 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 put at the top level you don't want to put it under another class because then it's going to change your hierarchy of your pages I'm just gonna keep it at top level and then I'm gonna click create now I have an 11th period page and I can put whatever I want on the page and click save and notice it didn't add it to my navigation bar yet so I can go back to edit site layout go to my navigation bar and add a page and I want to add 11th period it's going to add that right there I'm gonna click OK and it adds it so now I have a tab to 11th period 
I can go there and it's going to show me all my stuff. So that's how you get rid of pages and that's how you add pages. Okay. Now let's go ahead and edit the content in our first period class. So that digital business applications class that I built, we're going to use that as an example. So I'll go into this class. I'm going to edit this. Right here I put a section for Google Classroom code. I want to use the classroom code for this DBA class that I built. So I'm going to go to students. I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it in here. Boom. So that's done. And now I want to put a calendar in here. You know how, remember how I told you how um, when we build assignments here it's going to populate the calendar? What I want to do is I want to build a calendar I want to embed a calendar into my web page that they'll be able to, that parents will be able to check and they don't have to log into Google Classroom to be able to see it. So the way we do that, make our cursor is in the center section here. Make sure our cursor is in the center section. Click insert and go to calendar. And then I will find the calendar for my digital business applications class. Boom, right there. And click select. Now, all these options are good. Um, we can keep all of them. But one important thing, another thing we did not cover in class, we do want to choose our time zone. We want to go down to Mountain Standard Time, Boise. Okay? I'm going to make sure we choose our time zone, or it's going to throw our calendar off. And then width. If you leave your width, empty it'll make it hundred percent of the width of your content which is what I like or you can change it if you want remember if you change any of these settings you're gonna to wanna to make it the same through all your class periods so that your, all your pages look the same it just makes it nicer I'm gonna click save now it's not gonna show up yet because we're still in edit mode which is good because I wanna add one more thing so I'm gonna make sure my cursor is next to my calendar I'm gonna click and or I'm gonna hit enter so I'm below it and I'm going to click Insert Drive Document. And I'll scroll down. Actually, I'll just do a search for Disclosure. Discl I for Disclosure. I forgot an L. Disclosure. And I'll just grab this Computer Tech Disclosure. Click Select. Again, Width, I'm going to leave it open save. So now I have calendar and disclosure. So let's click save and see what that looks like. Boom! Calendar's here. Disclosure's here. Okay. Now, the cool thing is, because this is a set it and forget it calendar, I never have to come back to this page again. And it will still update based on the assignments that I build in Google Classroom. So we've got this assignment on Wednesday. Let's say we want to put an assignment on Friday. So let's build an assignment on Friday. And we'll create an assignment. And we'll call it um, Be a Kid. Go do something stupid. And we will put it on Friday the 19th at 11.59 p.m. And we will assign it. The assignment's created. Now when I go back here and I refresh my page, I will see my new assignment here. Be a kid. Go do something stupid. And then it gives me a link to the Google Classroom page. Okay? So as we change things, as we change due dates, as we add assignments, it automatically posts to this calendar and we don't have to do anything extra. So that's pretty nice. All right. There's one last thing that we want to do before we call it quits, before we move on. We want to make sure that everyone in the world can see our page, because that's the point of this website. We want to make sure that nobody is restricted from this website, and nobody has to log in. So up here where it says Share, this blue Share button, we're going to click that, and we're going to go here where it says Who Has Access? We're going to click the blue change. We're going to click on public on the web. So we want to make sure that it's public. Anyone on the internet can find an access. No sign in required. 
and we're going to click Save. And when we do that, and we go back to our website, we should see this globe icon, because we want to share Kanye West with the whole world. So that's our globe icon. That lets us know that everyone should be able to see this website. If they go to this URL, they'll see this website. Okay, so that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I can help you work some of this stuff out. Um, please, please, please don't be afraid to uh, call me or email me or just flag me down in the hall if you see me. I can help you with this stuff. Um, so that should be it. All right, thanks for watching.